you're sore today, bud. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're recording. Oh, neck. I recorded something yesterday for 20 minutes and did not hear record. <laughs> so, yeah, my neck, I pretty much, beyond that, and that <laughs> is sore as fuck. I went to I went to the gym this morning, and the first sit-up where I had to straighten my neck, I was like, forget it. I can't even Why do Why did you go to the gym? You went to the gym last night, too. Do you know anything about recovery in your body? It's you're crazy. You're making yourself worse. You're I feel like you need to go to the gym. I'm getting fat. That's not Shut the fuck up. You're letting the internet shit get to you. Someone dies. No, I'm not. I heard someone in your fucking live stream the other day, like, packing all them LBs, and you're who? like, who? It's not, you're so making this whole I'm thing saying, up. Who goes and snowboards all day, then goes and does a two a day? He does every time. He did last. Why you you too. That's why you're fucking always fucked up. You don't have on your body. You're insane. I ain't doing anything. I got a hamster on a wheel just running. Ugh, I went to the gym though, bro. Out of your mind. I don't know. Your fucking body's never gonna recover. Oh, it is today, because oh, I'm cool. not. Are you ready to go snowboard tomorrow? Yes. Maybe oh. if you didn't go to the gym fucking eight times a week for no reason, fucking get some shit done. Yeah, flex. Yelled at me. Like, I get to the post office, and she's standing there in the docking bay with, like, shit ton of boxes, and I'm like, can I just put mine up here? She's like, I guess so. Don't try and say, do you hate your job? I should have, but what I nicely said is, I just said, listen, I understand you're not gonna be able to scan them in. My question is, who's gonna scan, like, when do they get scanned? scan so and as I'm saying this turns to me and goes I am not scanning any of these none of these are getting scanned okay all right forget it oh, if you buy the Sony get ready to spend some fucking money dog yeah that's how much a battery charger is how much Hundred? Hundred bucks. One battery charger to, to charge one single battery. You can plug the camera into the wall like the other Sony. It's so slow, dog. They plug in overnight one battery. I woke up, it was at 70%. Memory cards for them too, if you read about that camera. Yeah. They're like shooting on the other shits, like the Lexars or whatever the yeah. shits are called. Like they're great cards usually, but more often than not, I get these corrupted fucking files. So Sony put out faster memory cards for it. I had to buy fucking two. The 64 is 100 and some bucks, and the 128 was two something. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet it was. Yeah, and meanwhile, the shit's so heavy. Every time I go to the gym, just lift that fucking thing up a couple of times. It's like yeah. a kettlebell and a half. I'm excited to get this on my gimbal. Yeah, it'll be f Are we taking that to Japan? The gimbal? Yeah. I can. I can. Stuff the handles full of weed. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you. That's so I knew it, Like I knew it before you even said uh, it. I like just making you nervous. Yeah. I didn't even smoke a joint yesterday in preparation. Shit. I drank a hundred milligrams last <clears throat> night though. Dude, you're wild and you're like crying for help. I think a young thug song. Popping perkies. Zannies, sorry, Zannies, not perkies. Slipping, dog. I'm on my. Oh, it's Teddy shit. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Are you fighting with Brandy or what? No. I go in the steam room sometimes, and that like helps with all that. But it also tastes like feet. It's like a weird smell when you go in there. You're like, this is just moist air that like a bunch of people have been sitting in. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing. <laughs> Hello, Abner. Oh. What's up, G? What up? Oh, sideways. You might as well just take that Supreme hat since you just wear it all the time. One of the most rare Supreme hat ever made. Is it really? Yeah. Only 64. They're like $4,000 a piece. Those were released in Paris only. Oh, fuck the $600 hat. Now I got a 4000 and the Yeezy Y3 jump off. I'm killing the hat game. Yeah, killing. You know, I used to have an uncle that we used to call the hat stealer. He'd always steal everybody's hats. Maybe it's in my blood. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> great uncle wasn't even a falconer. Great, great, your last name. He just switched names, escaping a situation. You know, a big hat theft. And he's like, we gotta change your name to falconer. No, we're, uh, we're the hatters. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're Ernesto Hatter. He's like, no. We're Ernesto Fal Falconer. We're falconers now. Throws the hat off the side of the cliff. Hey, let's vlog with this camera, even though we can't see ourselves, and see yeah, where it goes. Cool. I'm about to be on that. Thing. This was scary. Wait, let's tighten it in. It'll be fine. Oof. What? You that just think? Scary. Like I know, but we can try it for sure. It feels soft. God damn. It's a little heavier. Bro. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I mean, I guess you can always hit this button. And just hope. Yeah. I'm bringing back this sideways hat. Yeah, like the B-boy. Yeah. The, the NYC B-boy, like the white people. Yeah, the like the vanilla B-boy. They call yeah. you white chocolate when you hit the block. God damn it. I lost my little red ruby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It bounced over there somewhere. <laughs> like, yeah. That's going to be a while before I find it. I cleaned the whole fucking room up. But not organized. The tech counter. Somewhat organized. It's well, yeah, I mean, it's just fucking passport. I can't even cough without you're every You're gonna lose muscle, muscle and you're gonna gain weight. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, I like the kicks. People are like, Teddy talks all this shit. I used to eat him in the gym. I've gotta go to the gym because I'm a motherfucking tiger. You know what I'm saying? Fucking gorilla banging on my chest. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. Fucking gyms. 
The only gym I know is the dude who might knock out the club and talk shit. Con Shout out to Kodak Black. Concord 11's outside waiting for your fucking friends. I could just kicked out of the club once. You making all these top 10 sneaker lists that you do yeah. shit? Yeah, what's yours? Oh, I don't have one. And your shoes didn't come out this year. I'm not making a list from this year. I can't be like, hey, Star Wars came back out on DVD this year and it's up for an Oscar. No, that's not how this shit works. Yeah. So if your silhouette didn't come out this year, then you cannot say shit. Ultra Boost cannot be shoe of the year because the silhouette didn't come out this year. Sorry. Speaking of movies, yeah. Into the Spider-Verse. The Spider new, it's a new... See, now you're gonna mean fucking Spider-Man shoe. Wait. See, I was gonna go, we don't even need to do Boost News that. Fuck the Spider-Man shoe. Fuck a spot. Yo, it's a red and white Jordan 1. It looks like someone like put literal little webbings, but it, it kind of looks like juice. I didn't even know about this, and Have that's not even shit? why I brought There's it. There's so many Jordan 1s, dog. Jordan can't jump like Spider Man. Hell no. You know, the original Superman couldn't actually fly. He could just leap really far from building to building, but. In a single bound. It wasn't like he could just take off and fly to another fucking country. Yeah, they look like this. Look at this. Oh, I see. What a fuck. Like, how is that even. Spi First off, a Spider Man Jordan stupid. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, comic, <laughs> figurine, movie, art. We got fucking Spider-Man shoes. People were talking shit about Dragon Ball Z collab, which is on non-iconic silhouettes. Let's so introduce all new silhouettes. You just fucking spider jizzed all over your iconic sh I'm like, yeah. Do you have like a little hologram thing on your shirt too? Like your sippy cup fucking come with it? Like what the fuck are we talking about? Like, and this is what people will gas up his shoe of the year. Yo, like, check this trailer though, dog. Brandy and I were looking for a movie to go to. Hold on, I got a hack. <laughs> Animated Spider-Man one and at first wait no, but wait this looks fucking like why all I've heard is good things about it Peep the trailer the trailer. It's like mad hip-hop and shit. It's watch <laughs> This is what I want to see. Yo, 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 my name is Spidey into the spider-verse Maybe that's what they mean by the spider-verse. Oh shit. Spitting spider that fire yeah. <laughs> Talking to my web 18 bars supposed to be 16. I took it too far <laughs> Because when you said 18 bars, I'm like, does he know he just said 18? Uh, I always know, or dog. My jokes are inceptualized. Your inceptuality. My inceptuality. <laughs> I want to show people my inceptuality. Wait, is Spider-Man black? Yes. Oh, right now, I kind of like it. Dude, and it's he's like an inner city kid. It's got like a hip-hop soundtrack. It's like, what I've seen, it doesn't look too bad. I don't like the Jordan part even more now, though. Why? Because it does have to do with this movie, you think? I mean, you really... Think I mean, they're out at the same time. I get it, but... You really think that was a coincidence? That's a look, It looks... Like, aside from the story, like, the animation looks dope. Yeah. It, I know. I just don't want to like it. I so know. So you want to learn to be Spider-Man? Can you teach me? Yes, I can. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that. <laughs> We're not going to see shit in this camera out here. Here's why I would be successful though. It must have been a comic first. I think I saw that when we were scrolling by. They Making are. a movie that's animated that gets the storyline of someone else gets to be Spider-Man. Anyone can Anyone be can Spider-Man. Spider -Man. And that is so, like, it'll be yeah. huge for sure. I mean, I'll go see it yeah. if y'all want, but the Jordan shit is so bad. Fucking streetwear. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man logo. We're dropping the Spider-Man collection this week. And he's got the, his skinny ass arm, dog. And he's to hit the fucking weight room. It seems like maybe he's been smoking. Snowboarding and then going hitting two a days. Slender Man. Love you. Yeah, that's a weird one. <laughs> Shoes still wag as fuck. All those Jordans are still wag. That note, we're out to I'm the fucking I'm gonna take another dab. You got me all fucking. Did you watch the vlog last night? <coughs> Just your highlights. That? Osmo. That's it? That's it. The new Osmo Pocket. Put it. Hey, young buddy. It looks like ET. Hey! 4K, 60 frames per second. I mean, this on the mountain is gonna be ridiculous. We're out. Keeping it local up in Mike's camera. I said, don't know. <laughs> Plays nobody cares, and we're about to spend two thousand dollars. Are they gonna tell me to stop? No, it's just that it was like nothing for you to be vlogging about. It's not about that. Now, oh God, I can't believe that we're buying one. That's why he's standing all fucking dull. He's like, he's gonna steal it. I know he does. I got this supreme hat on sideways, motherfucker. Noodle spot, we go. New lens copped. I should have stole a two dollar thing after. <laughs> The irony of He was like, these dudes are buying that shit? Yeah. He's probably like, all right, batch out the credit card right now. If I was trying to steal that fucking thing, I definitely fucking could have. Because homeboy left it on the counter and walked away like nine times. Yeah. Should have done a prank. Like, we're filming. This is a social experiment. We tried to steal this $3,000 lens to show yeah. you that you have security flaws. Like, yeah, we recorded to show the security flaws. We're documentarians. By 120. Let's go, Rochambeau. Rochambeau, let's motherfucking go. I need support, double zimmy, so I can feel how.
Yeah, I can't wait. That cop is falling asleep. I'm standing up. He's going right around me. <laughs> Yeah, he's merging. Oh my god, he's crossing fucking lane. No weed on the grass. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're on the block where... God damn it, Brandy, we're filming! I had it on 16, I just went to 10. Testing the noise reduction outside. microphone. Yeah, outside. Here it goes. Yeah, I probably got like this... 90. Same boys. Drugs on the ground. Can't let this supreme hat jump off my head here in the wind, though. Doing the food off, and then I'll go to office. Thank depot. God. What do you want? He just comes rolling in like he's starting beef. Oh, he's beefing, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Damn it, dog. My G, that's my leg. You're biting it. I have witnesses. Ooh. Get him. You're gonna dust that fool. What? What is oh. this? What is this? I'm back on the cannon right now because I've been fucking with these settings pretty much for the last hour or two. Hype aside, Sony's really crushed. I'm really looking forward to comparing the M50. It almost seems like a toy now compared to the Sony because they're both mirrorless. This one's full frame. This one doesn't shoot full frame 4K. This has crazy slow-mo, etc. But I'll get into it. I got a lot to learn. I got a lot of reading and studying and listening. It's been that business shit. Everything's finally shipped. I think the post office things are getting figured out. I was gonna do boost news today, but don't have time. And those edits take forever. And honestly, I just wanna like talk about it. We talked about some of the shoes earlier that have come out or coming out and Spider-Man and Batman and Robin. Barney. Um, anyway, uh, and Game of Thrones Ultra Boost. Look, trust me, dog. Nobody's safe right now, and that's one thing I need to make crystal fucking clear. I watch videos from the past. I'm hype on Adidas, and I'm hype on Boost. That was when it was all popping. Granted, I didn't get into it because it was popping. Anyone that needs to check the scoreboard can check the scoreboard. It was fun. It was new. It was exciting, and it had been so long since the sneaker world there was anything that was all of those things as well as functional and comfortable. And that's like really what dr like drug me back into this world. I mean like this, childhood, Jordan, Nike Air, whatever the fuck I get my hands on, Barclays, anything, Grandma Ma's. Nike SB, well, skate shoes before Nike. Nike SB, flat line, what the, like whatever, I don't care about shoes, boost. That has obviously changed this year. It's not the same scope of excitement or creativity went from like 3.0 to 4.0 and micro improvements. Aside from all of the technical aspects of performance shoes improving for performance, colorway wise, activity this year just went kind of drab. Companies kind of went with the earth tone colorway this year. Things just went kind of bright instead. Uh, I don't really feel as if Adidas did an amazing job this year with new models. I'd say that they built upon what they already had made before, which I don't know if that's a good thing because some of the shit they may have built up too much and it's gonna collapse. Some stuff they improved a little bit, but there wasn't a lot of like straight up Adidas, straight up Adidas releases that just like blow your dick off this year. There just wasn't, there's a lot, of, there's a few Ultra Boosts sprinkled in, a couple other models, new NMDs, but everything is a micro tweak. Like every thing they put out this year, a micro tweak aside from the 4d which is a new soul technology but as far as silhouettes go I the only thing I can think of is the pro I don't think he's even gonna make it past this year that shit rhymed there's things like the derupt and random other silhouettes all the Dragon Ball Z stuff that can't like a lot of models they threw out that are based off of archives just kind of Adidas's whole thing like building on their heritage but I feel Adidas has made this plunge into future of footwear a lot of the it, a lot of the releases look futuristic completely different look than what we're used to if you jump into like the Yeezy line a lot of the silhouettes are just so different than what we're used to right now at least in the last you know I mean they're again referenced to everything's referenced I don't even get that out of the way but let's say they are building upon this more and more and more but they've also just kind of like gotten to this point where taking pieces of every part and putting it all together and hoping that they can like make fire out of it. And it's just like not working for me. I know some people are just fans of new product called the Asterix or whatever. And I saw that they sent the pairs out to some people like a Foot Locker campaign or some shit. And cutty thing, red shoe with all these panels. And it looks like an arts and crafts, Japanese anime, Ash from Pokemon, 
character shoe. It just kind of seems like they're just throwing shit together right now. I don't know if seeing behind the curtain like fucked me up. You know, I don't know if uh, obviously the cease and desist and the suing and shit is whatever, but that didn't even didn't bother me with the shoe part because the shoe part is like I never wanted to go against the designers or the people that I fuck with at work at Adidas. Those people are even held in place by the dudes upstairs. What I think is going on is just the powers that be, Adidas have moved talent and move and changed things up so much and have really dove into this future of footwear with Parlay and Speed Factory and 4D. I don't think they were able to scale it fast enough, but that's like obviously their folk. I just don't think that it really like killed it this year. The only thing that stands out to me, Yeezys, couple of pair of Ultra Boosts, but they're all collabs. And then other collab shoes. Like everything else is just like, yeah, I grab that colorway or yeah, oh, these NMDs I can get now for six pairs for the price of one, you know, like things like that, which I still appreciate the shoes. But if we're making like lists, like the bet, this is like, oh, this shit was like, man, that, there's not much. And I can't remember when the year started, but there's no new models from Adidas that I can think of that this year I was just like, holy fucking shit. 4D is a fucking total failure at this point right now. But you cannot have a product come out, put it in like this pool of the best thing that happened and only, you know, a small percentage of people can get it based on like reality. Like not based on availability and money, but like my foot doesn't fit in this. Can't even really talk about that shit yet. I know they finally released it in the 14 at the end of the year, but it's, it's not enough. Like can't release a white upper in one size at the end of the year, which kind of seemed like a Hail Mary to get it out. It's just not doing it. It's just not doing it for me. You know, that's all there is to it. Nike, which, you know, I know this happens a lot, but we got we got to be honest. Like, new models from Nike, same fucking thing. Things kind of, like, fell flat. People tried to hype shit up. People did hype shit up. But, like, the Reacts, the 270s, I don't remember the, all the other, other elf-looking shoe shit. It's like, everything that's kind of Seems like it's chasing after this same little, all that shit kind of fell flat too. Off-white, no new model. They didn't get Virgil a new model. Virgil didn't put out a new shoe. So if you're giving anybody credit at all for a new model, it's Jerry Lorenzo. That, them shits came out yesterday, a couple days ago. I mean, I know someone's already ripping them, but they just came out, got me on the top anything list other than the pending order on your fucking debit card. I would say there's been a little experimentation over at Nike, not as much as Adidas. Adidas is like, hey, let's go in the archive, take fucking LSD, mix all this shit together, see what we come out with. And we got Kanye over here wilding. He's, well, I don't really think Kanye's wilding, it's perception, but you know what I'm saying? But like they got the Gosha, Wang, whoever, what have you, sports athletes. And then Nike, a little bit of that future shit, as I stated years ago, it's still heavily, heavily reliant on the past. Not like, hey, let's retool this, let's rebuild this, let's do this. It's, let's put out some more AJ1s and some different colorways because people will fucking buy them no matter what. You know, like the Union, like, I, so many people are saying it's a shoe of the year. I, there's nothing that you can do to an Air Jordan 1 that's gonna make it shoe of the year this year. Nothing for Jordan 1 through whatever fucking number they're on, dog. Like, them shits didn't come out this year. We can't keep doing this every year. Like, well, this is the colorway of the year. If you want to say colorway of the year, cool, but I guess the Ultra Boost 19 is a change from the Ultra Boost, so we could call that a new model, but I don't think anybody's calling that a release of the year either. That came out last week, too. Heavy collab, Sean Witherspoon. Great collaboration. Um, if we're talking about marketing, Nike's a marketing powerhouse. They have and that, that shoe I don't think existed before with the one that upper and the soul swap thing. So it's a way of creating something new out of the history, which is cool. I would give that, I give that shoe respect. I give Sean my respect. I can't go down this road of the SBs and all these things. Like we've done this. Nike knows that a lot of people are nostalgic and will continuously buy their childhood over and over again. You know, nostalgia is a... Powerful fucking drug. Joe LaPuma said in his little, in their little complex sit down that Cement 3 could be on the list any year it comes out. I just can't get down with that. Like that's, we're just like continuously on the same thing. It's cool to like it. I'm not saying hate it. Like yeah, I like my black Cement 3s. Well I don't like mine because I don't have any. Like what you like, but I'm just saying. We can't realm of a measurement of a year, an award, if we're giving out an award. Again, there's no new shoe that I hear people being like just crazy over. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments being like, they react, this, this, this. That shit fell flat. When we go to the Oscars or anything like that, any kind of award show, people keep saying, oh, based off hype. Well, hype of a movie doesn't win it awards. The content of the content is what gets the award. How well it's portrayed, edited, colored, bop, 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 put together, delivered. Not the hype, so I can't measure that. I'm sorry, we can't measure hype because that goes with y'all's motherfucking mood swings and some of y'all motherfuckers are out there wearing Crocs right now. Yeah. And if you like your Crocs, knock yourself out. Don't come over here trying to fucking tell me 
that them shits is hot. They ain't hot. They're cool, you got holes in them. It's breezy. Most, like what I ended up wearing the absolute most was a pair of black and white ultra boost that stay undefeated across them simply because they have a neoprene tongue. The white pair too. I rocked the shit out of those and I didn't expect to. I wore a Yeezy V2 which did not come out this year so that doesn't really count. The colorway did but it doesn't really count. But the shoe I wore the most that came out this year and still surprised the fuck out of me. This shoe gets, ends up on my feet more often than not and it's mostly because of the colorway. Slatey black colorway, just I fuck with the vibe on it. The comfort of the upper surprised the shit out of me. Not as comfortable as Boost, but I'm lucky enough this year that I'm, I can wear these during the day and not be like, damn, I gotta walk all over the place, blah, blah, blah. I'm not moving around like that. Yeah, I know. It's all right though, I'm still. Still less than LB is 18, dog. So this has been my most surprisingly, like, I'm aware of this. This came out this year. And I know this is heavily referenced off old shoes as well. So there's really no way out of this whole reference thing. But this did not, it's not a model from the past. I do think that this is important and easy as its own independent thing, which I think I started this year off saying that too. I feel like I've been consistent with it. Oh. Speed Factory, which I do believe came out this year. Doesn't really make my list as far as like top shoes of the year because this is said it over and over. It's another version of an Ultra Boost. They're making like different cuts here and there in the soles, but the silhouette's pretty much the same. And these uppers are great. They're nice, but they're not PK. I said this years ago also when the vlog started that Ultra Boost 1.0 to forever may very well be like one of those moments in time of sneakers just like SB used to be when it was sample floor. It was so special, it just had a feeling. The people who were into it felt different. People got behind it, got excited. It built community. Obviously, hey, I'm vlogging. Obviously, able to build communities. I was able to build a community. I just had an energy around it, which is really the main draw to it was the energy. Now with like shoes this year, it's mostly, it's kind of returned to a lot of bickering online. YouTube is all hype be shit. Same sneaker review, people rushing to review it first. If that's what we're basing the best releases of the year from, then I, again, it's built on a falsehood and I can't. It's kind of just back to Jordan scamming and fake shoes and this, that, and the third, which is all this whack shit that I was really not into in the first place. So I don't know. We're in kind of a, a weird crossing point, which interested to see what happens in 2019. But going into it, last part of 2018, I kind of feel like everybody's fucking up. And I'm super concentrated on my own shit. So, you know, maybe my taste has changed too. And I'm not calling anything trash or dead or anything like that. I just don't think that anyone pushed the envelope. I think Adidas set themselves up for the future. And Nike's just still heavily relying on the past and any collaborator they can get their hands on. That's my opinion about shoe of the year, list of the year. I don't have one. Oh, and then honorable mention, the shoe that surprised the fuck out of me this year that I did not know, I mean, I don't think this model exists, but this is also kind of a cut up of other shit. Basically an Ultra Boost Mid and Copa and Trail, but this is a newer, awesome soccer shit. I mean, it's definitely Frankenstein, but this shoe is by far the most comfortable shoe that Adidas released this year, without a doubt, which I can't really believe because it doesn't have a massive amount of boost, but it's in the heel like this with this sock like upper toe box is so cozy. It's amazing. This they did right. Pods, I don't think they did right. Really hype on when it came out just because of how it felt on foot. It was BYW. Level one looks like this. And this is the one that I'm gonna end up keeping because I do like the silhouette and model, which is also based off an old design. You know, feature wear, Kobe's, Crazy 8s, blah, blah, blah. See the reference into the Deseret, Yeezy. This puts boost in a whole nother place. The way that they composed the boost on the shoe just felt like it was a whole new experience and it was really nice. They dropped the Pharrell versions. Yeah, more sock like uppers. He's actually, I thought I was gonna love even more. And I do like, I do like them. I don't love them as much as I had thought. Love sock like uppers, trust me. And I love the BYW vibe. Like the Y3s that they did. This upper is like a happy marriage. It's kind of an in-between of the 500. Is it the 500? I'm getting everything wrong. 700, 750, 650. The utility black. This is the fuck it. It's called it. I get so confused right now. It's also later than normal and I'm stoned as shit. The wave runner is the 500. It doesn't have a knit upper, but it's neoprene, which is nice. And then the X base models and they keep dropping these sort of like one-off colors and stuff and you know for the amount that they make for like hardcore basketball fans and boost fans like it's enough it doesn't really I just don't feel like they scaled byw and they did those bristles and maybe there's just nowhere to go with it i don't know like didn't go the way that i thought i don't wear those as much as i would i mean i still have a dead stock pair of white ones right here clean 
I don't know if I wear them or sell them or what. Crazy, it's crazy because we consume shit too and we get excited to go back and look at it and see what makes the cut. I really want to minimize this down, like way down. I don't know. Keep a lot of ultra boost and shit, but... <sighs> I don't know. That first BYW, it's almost like a damn sample. People are a lot more choosy. A lot of factors go into it. Hype, obviously. I think people should put personal tastes into it a little more. That's just me. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.